films it also involves constructing preservation facilities organizing training programs and creating a web based it solution for comprehensive management before we go ahead with let's have a look at the trailer on the restored classics project chelsea yeah so you can see it here chum 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 The National Film Heritage Mission has been embarked on a journey to restore iconic Indian classics. Much like the making of a film involves a dedicated group of people, the task of preserving films is a commitment to safeguarding the original art. The fragile nature of cinema demands careful preservation and maintenance. Frames are carefully prepared by hand before being digitized in high-quality resolution. The digitization of film in the old era was a new thing, like in the past, and for all the effects that have been, which have happened because of the past of time, those are going to be magnified. The obvious thing there is the best. Films available in public domain often do not argue that unlike the ethics, they do not present any correct application of this situation. So after, so after watching this trailer, now we would like to hear from Mr. Ketan Anand uh, about the project and how his experiences have been in restoring the films. So, Is the mic? Yeah. This. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So first of all, it's great to be here. I've been in Ifi before three times. Uh, it's a wonderful festival. It's going up, 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 and up. And um, it's at any global level today, which I'm really, really happy about. This is an extraordinary thing that they're doing. Yeah? I mean, it was Martin Scorsese also who triggered this off. And I think he visited here, and he's also been involved in some of the restoration work. It's great for us to have our history shown in retrospect to all the coming generations. And that is possible only when something like this happens. And they are doing a fantastic job. I know that this technique is going to get more and more and more uh, sophisticated as time goes on. But 4K today in films that were almost torn and ripped off and full of what we call noise, you know, when you get sparks on the thing, we call it noise. And uh, negative is not lifelong, you know, like a, a hard disk is much lo longer lasting. So for them to have done something like this, I think, um, well, I'll clap on that, you know, really I will. So um, we watched um, a film last evening that was uh, Bish Sal Bad. And uh, what a fantastic difference. And I'm looking, really looking forward to seeing the restored version of Hakikat this evening. Um, I would like to say that... Um, 
I have been mulling over it and I am also very happy to say that with all the things that are going on and the kind of feedback I get of this film, I will be announcing Hakikat 2 next year. I'll start a sequel on that. Any yeah. questions? Do you have any, mm -hmm. anything you would like to say? No, I already visited uh, just switch Puna it Institute. Down. Switch it on. Yeah. I already visited Puna Institute, met a fun team, uh, and by gov gov Government of India initiative. And I got to see firsthand uh, how they digitalize it, how they clean the films, the equipment, and um, um, it's quite a process. You know, and I said, um, because we have in my um, office a couple of films which are of my dad's and they're in good condition, but it's difficult to maintain. So I thought I'll send that as well because um, for the first time I saw professionalism and uh, was very impressed by that. Yeah. So good job. Thank you. Now the floor is open for questions, please. Mike. Mic, please keep on the mic because it is being telecast. Yeah, yeah. Put up, put up, come. Yeah. Anytime, yeah. Uh, do you remember watching Hakikat when it was first released? Yeah. Um, now, let me tell you something. No, uh, uh, the question continues. You can then tell. Okay, okay. Uh, how was the quality of film at the first release and the 4K which you have seen? Okay, so now there are two questions. First, yes, I was a college student and I was still... Um, I was studying in St. Stephen's College. Uh, Hakikat was, of course, made by then, and I used to visit the sets, and I'd been to uh, uh, Ladakh and Srinagar just to visit during my holidays and back. And um, I didn't know what my father had made till that day, but it was the first IFI International Festival held in Delhi. We were staying at uh, Imperial Hotel, and I went and saw the film for the first time. And um, it was the opening film of that festival. So if he is connected from the first to here. But there you have a brand new negative, a brand new print. So, um, But 4K makes a lot of difference because you must understand that film resolution is only 2K. And this has now gone way beyond that technique. Now they'll go on to 6K and 8K. But the human brain registers that, but the human eye only registers 2K. You must remember that. Okay, so you're watching 2K, but you're visualizing uh, 4K or 6K in your head. So, you know, it's, AI is going to make you feel a lot of differences as the time goes on. But um, a new print is a new print, and aaj ki date mein ye baut new print hai sab. Aapne jaisa ki kaha ki haqiqat ka dousra part bhi bane ka agle do saalo mein ya jab bhi. Haqiqat jaisi ek milestone film. दुबारा क्या बन सकती कितना आपको उसमें प्रयास करना पड़ेगा कि हम उस तरह की फिल्म बना सकें आज भी जब हम लोग हकीकत देखते हैं तो हम लोग के रोंगटे खड़े हो जाते हैं कि इस तरह की फिल्में बनती थी तो मैं आपसे जानना चाहती हूँ आप कितना होमवर्क करेंगे कहाँ से ऐसा सब्जेक्ट लाएंगे जो इस दौर में वैसी फिल्म बन सके इसका इनिशियटिव आया था जब मेरे पिताजी की फिल्म एंड होता है ना तो उन्होंने दी एंड नहीं लिखा था आज आप हकीकत अगर देखोगे तो द लास्ट रिटर्न लाइन इज द एंड इज नॉट येट ओके एंड आई जॉइन माई फादर इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी नाइन आई वॉज एसोशिएट प्रोड्यूसर एंड असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर इन ही रन जय एट दैट टाइम एंड आई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई आस्ट हिम इज वाई हैव यू नॉट आई द पुट दी एंड और जस्ट गिवन रनिंग टाइटल एट दी एंड दैट्स हाउ यू एंड द फिल्म इस इज बिकॉज सन these guys will attack us again and 50 years later we had it in galwan exactly the same thing number one that number two i decided that since his film was not a war film it showed you the pathos of war it showed you the human side of war it was a very emotional story it showed you that war when it does come on you is not a good thing it's ugly it kills people people lose lives there are two wars going on on the planet right now there's a lot of tragedy but hakikat gives you that extraordinary thing that is there in human beings which is endurance which is bravery in the face of everything and here i was also there in ladakh shooting for paravir chakra i shot half of paravir chakra along with my father and at that time 
I went all the way to Pangong to shoot an, uh, an episode on Dhan Singh Thapa who fought against uh, the Chinese in 1962. And uh, it's very beautiful territory to look at, but it's very hostile, it's very cold, there's not a single green thing that goes, there's a lack of oxygen, and there's terrible conditions over there for those soldiers. And now they have thermal tents and things. In those days, they had just plain tambu and temperatures go up to minus 30 degrees at night sometimes and winter is terrifying. And then they go up to a height of 21, 22,000 feet on reckeys and things. They're very, very brave people. And for them to have endured a sudden attack, because the Chinese, they betrayed us. Chaun Lai came over here and hugged everybody and ye kia wo kia and suddenly dharam. Idhar bhi ho hua tha, 50 saal baad. So I want to continue from where Hakikat left off, that little boy who's left. Ab tumare hawale vatan saathiyo. Kiske hawale diya hai vatan? Aaj hum kya dar rahe hain? So that's my story. That boy joins the army. I'll follow his life for 50 years and now he is a retired general. And his son is in Galwan. So I'll give you an emotional link and I'll give you Hakikat too. Good morning. Uh when it comes to uh, restoring films, uh, now there is new technology available in the form of artificial intelligence and AI. So, uh, and sometimes AI has risks involved in uh, the way it interprets uh, restoration. So, how would you comment on the use of AI for restoration? And I don't think AI will be used for restoration. Because restoration, well, they may be, but I think we're overdoing our little bit on AI because um, we've also been fed a lot of uh, science fiction stuff on what AI can do in, in all of these films like uh, Terminator and The Matrix and all that sort of thing, how machines are coming to take your life over, which in a way is a fact because your lives are already taken over. How often do you go to this little machine every day and keep scrolling down, you know? So we are caught up in that. We are caught up in the technology. It's already taken over. It's not that it's coming. It is here. So you have to deal with that, number one. Number two, what you have to look at is nobody really, really knows where AI is going to go, you know? Because AI is an invention that has come out of the human mind. It has not come out of nature. You know, we are organic computers. You know, so the intelligence that put us together and we have put a machine together. So now there's always going to be this battle between the organic and the mechanical. But the beautiful thing about the organic, it, it can still love. Huh? It's capable of emotions. It's capable of romance, which is what we're talking about. Dev Sahib ki kahani ye batayengi abhi aapko. So romance ko wapis lao hai. AI wo cold-blooded thing hai. Usko karne do apna kaam yaar. Hum apna kaam karte jayenge. Yeah, excuse me, sir. Uh, Mitriga. Thank you, sir. Uh, this one, Government of India has taken a Herculean task of uh, restoring the films and uh, bringing it back to the screen. The preservation part becomes a very important, uh, this one, before uh, restoration. In many places, in many regional languages, the prints have gone to this one, you know, because of not... Uh, making proper preservation. How was your uh, prints and all, you know, the quality of uh, this one which we saw, Bisal Bad and all, you know, it really looks nice yeah. because each frame is uh, restored. Yes. Whereas in uh, earlier in National Film Archives, when G. Arvindan films, it was not <clears throat> restored frame by frame. It was restored shot by shot. If you do shot by shot, you can't have the color grading and uh, uh, this one. But as far as Bisal Bad is... Uh, Concerned. I'll it give you two arrested. examples of what you're talking about. Number one, I have suffered the same fate as the films, the regional films you talk about. There came a time when the uh, digital world was taking over, the laboratories shut down. Okay. And my negatives were ruined because they shut the machines down, the AC. If you can't keep a negative in an AC, it goes down. But then luckily, because of uh, reissue rights and things, we had digitized them. So my negative today is on a hard disk. It's not on film anymore. For them to have taken a print and restored is remarkable technology. Like he said, it's fantastic. Now, I have colorized Hakikat because when I was shooting for Barumvi Chakra, my father said, I wish I'd shot Hakikat in color. So I have taken Hakikat, shortened it a little bit, spread it into a cinema scope, 
re-recorded the entire background music into Dolby 5.1 because it was 5.1. I did it in 2010-11. वो print Q lab में पड़ा हुआ है. उसमें भी हमको negative restore करना पड़ा था because you can't colorize unless you have frame by frame restoration on this. So I know how tedious this process is. So yes, they've done a remarkable job, and I'm very very happy because this. And they must do this for regional films also because आज वो आप कर सकते हैं. आज वो technology आ गई है. That's where your technology and AI will come in over there. It'll help you. So if the machines and the human machine and the organic machine can get together, they should also get together to bring a little bit of peace on this planet as well. Uh, for why? Uh, I have a question to, for why. Just to uh, answer your Hello? question. Hello. Is there any plan? Uh -huh. Is is there any plan to restore classics like Alamara or Hunter Valley? Yeah, yeah, I think I think they should because I've even requested them to restore my father's first film, Nicha Nagar, and they they told me yesterday that they, they were going to do it. Yeah, there is one question for Vibha. Vibha, yeah. you said that you went to Pune and saw the actual process. Now the Nauketan films has a. Big repertoire of uh, uh, films, right from. Uh, That's what I was going to say. There was oh, a time yeah. that all the banners used to have their old cold storage room. Yeah. So we still have our cold storage room, and Dev Uncle had his. I think B R had his. It was a policy where there was a special machine, which is a dehumidifier, hmm. because of the Mumbai climate, that preserved the print, and the negative. So in those days, the labs <laughs> were sort of uh, commissioned by the. By the film industry, but um, unfortunately there was no government support, so you had to pay the lab. Mm. And over time, when the banners died out, the money also ran out. Mm, the so they couldn't really, out. yeah. So they couldn't really. I think there were many labs out, yeah, yeah. but we suffered that. So a lot of the labs they just threw the material out for lack of payment. Yeah. So only a few people who maintained they their negatives, they maintained their labs, were able to maintain the print because it's very difficult to maintain the print. Yeah. And you have to get it clean, especially the negative every six months. I mean, Pune Institute knows it all too well. Yeah. So you have to run the print, run the print, and oof, and the smell. So you have to be very careful in that room. Yeah, it's toxic. And it can burn, you know. So it's a acid air. It's a huge process. So I think um, it's good to preserve the print, but the shift to digital is much better. Yeah. Because it's cost effective. You're saving on a lot of things. Including environment because of spends and expenditure and all of that, uh, and the digital <laughs> format is going to be so small. It's like a little box. So I think it's there's nothing wrong if the print goes into redundancy and we come yeah. to a new age of digital. Uh, Thank yeah. God for digitization. <coughs> I've seen them so many times. No, seen them digitized. They're already being digitalized. I think they already they have. I, I, there's some films which all of uh, them are digitized. Yeah, to add on, yeah, spoken to even They're my cousin, hard disk now, yeah. who will be sending some films, and my stock also is will be sent to Pune Institute. I had a word with them. They, yeah, yeah so why both? Been looking after they gave me a, by themselves. We've been looking after for we very long. We were dependent time. on yeah. Ram Nod Lab. Yeah, why both? We had yeah. Why both? Here is a question. Uh, I think in September you were part of. Uh, Devanand's hundred uh, yeah, yeah, celebrations was fun. with Film Heritage Foundation. Mr. Chivinder Dungapur. As yeah, well, yeah, with across. Uh, so, how was that experience? Oh, uh, it was amazing. The house was full. Yeah. Okay. And um, uh, <coughs> Vahida ji had come. She had lit the lamp. Uh, so it was a wonderful moment for her, and uh, to relive uh, uh, three of the films, which were Johnny Meranam, Guide, and um, I think Jewel Thief. CID, I think CID. CID, I didn't see, but I've seen it before. Jewel Thief was also. So I saw these three, and I got to see Jewel Thief three times in Pune, <laughs> which was fun. <laughs> um, or maybe it was the third time. But um, it was also nostalgic because I had lost my mother. So I was coming out of that shock, and I think her favorite film used to be um, Jewel Thief. You know, so she was. She told me she had gone around the set as a child. Hmm. Yeah, long back. So it was interesting to go for the event, and um, um, most important was to see the audience reaction, especially when the song started. The sequences would start, and they would whistle. Mm. I'd be like, "This is perhaps how it would have been years ago." So yeah, it was a good feeling. Babab ji, yeah, Ketan sir, one, one question to you. Uh, since you told you colored hakikat, uh, so many times what we had across came across experiences whenever the 
old classic in black and white has been uh, restored to the color and uh, released or whatever the screen there will be always some uh, conflict because the makers who are now legal heirs or whatever they wanted to wish their uh, fathers or who are the associated to take it into color but the audience who were still at the time saw in black and white usually they don't uh, have that acceptance with going with color they say black and white was only good we are not able. so what was uh, your thought on that one whether it's uh, color or see <clears throat> nobody can take <clears throat> the black and white version away and now with this digitization it will always be there so my whole aim was to use a new technology to make a different version because i have shortened the film a little bit i have redesigned it so it's like a mix of a, of a song i have not tampered with my father's work i mean all the scenes are intact usko jara compact kiya hai that thanks to his dad he taught me how to edit my father's shots are wo aate jaate hain ye karte hain so i've made it a little more modern i've changed the entire background music and made it more apt to the times of today so that the generation of today identifies with something that happened at that time so you have two different versions they they are two different uh, films if you can say that way the work is still of chetan anand's but the, dig- the the colorized version is a version that the younger generation can see and identify with because a lot of them don't see the black and white film you know you have to bring them aaja or the digitized kiya ye kiya if you just run it like that they don't go to it so it was more for that than anything else and it's lying over there i haven't released it yet so when the time is right i'll release it and i will be using the end of that colorized version as the beginning of hakikat 2 so that becomes a part of the the legacy that it's a legacy that must continue see more or less the thought that the maker had because see we come from a background of personal cinema or to a cinema they call it we are creators of our own making we don't iska thought uska thought lekin hi dalte wo hamare andar ka ek passion hai jo hum express karte hain so this was my father's passion that he tell the truth about what happened it was a betrayal and he wanted to tell the story of these boys who were up there totally surprised that over a thousand chinese attacked 75 soldiers and it was a disaster and our government was not giving them supplies they had 100 bullets each and they ran out and then aap kya karoge lekin unke health mein tha na uska it was that No, it is political because that's what he expressed in the film. So I'm expressing his view. It may not be my view, but that's it. Is that's of how it is, and that is why it's called hakikat. Because hakikat not only means fact, it also means hak, the truth. So it was the truth in many ways. बाबू जी आपसे जानना चाहेंगे कि इस समय आप क्या कर रहे हैं अपने बारे में जरा विस्तार से बताएं। इस समय मेरी एक फिल्म आने वाली है चलती रहे जिंदगी। वहाँ पर मैंने केदार निभाया ह� Uh, I think Chicago Film Festival में जा चुकी है और मेरे ख्याल में uh, January में release होगी उसके बाद एक और फिल्म है जिसमें मैं writer भी हूँ और मैंने एक और अपने लिए रोल लिखा है वो भी ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म पर अगले अगस्त तक आएगी आपकी पूरी फैमिली एक फिल्मों की धरोहर है वाह तो आप उसको किस तरीके से आगे बढ़ा रहे हैं क्योंकि वैसी फिल्में देखने को अब नहीं मिलती हैं आज भी हम लोग जब देखते हैं कई कई बार देख लेते हैं और आजकल की फिल्में देखने का जैसे थोड़ा बहुत देखा मन भी नहीं करता उस तरह की फिल्में कभी मतलब आपके जहन में आती हैं कि हम इसको दोबारा बनाने की कोशिश करें जैसे आपके वो हकीकत बना रहे हैं तो आप मुझे नहीं लगता दोबारा बनाने की जरूरत है क्योंकि जो फिल्में बन चुकी हैं वो बन चुकी हैं और दोबारा देखने की ज़रूरत है जो नई पीढ़ी है जो मेरे जनरेशन की पीढ़ी है उनके विचार अलग हैं उनके ख्याल अलग हैं आपकी जो इस बार जो इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल रही है जो विस्तार में इन्फॉर्मेशन मिलती है वो पीछे मुड़ के देखने की ज़रूरत है नहीं लेकिन अगर हम अपने अपने इतिहास से अपने कलाओं से अपने संस्कारों से कुछ सीख सकते हैं सिख उन चीज़ों से उन उन चीज़ों को सीख कर निचोड़ कर कैसे आगे बढ़ें और अच्छे ख्याल लाएं अच्छी फिल्में लाएं अच्छे आ, क्या कहते हैं क्रिएटिव चीज़ें करें तो उस वजह से वो काम आ सकती हैं तो मैं ये नहीं मानता कि अब रीमेक बनाओ और 
बन चुकी हैं आप छू नहीं सकते जो हो गया सो हो गया लेकिन किस तरह आप अपनी प्रतिभाओं से अपनी आज की जो जितनी भी भरपूर इंफॉर्मेशन हमें मिल रही है उसके जरिए कैसे आगे बढ़े और अच्छा काम करें अच्छी क्रिएटिव चीजें करें गवर्नमेंट के थ्रू यू नो इंटरनेशनल फेस्टिवल्स के थ्रू अभी तो एक फोन पे यू कैन कांटेक्ट एनीबडी तो दुनिया इतनी छोटी हो गई है तो मुझे लगता है कि पुरानी चीजें जो हैं वो पुरानी ही रहें उनसे हम सीखें और आगे की तरफ बढ़ें इतनी फिल्में मैंने नहीं देखी हेलो <laughs> जी हेलो आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क वन बदकिस्मती यही सच्चाई है फॉर बोथ ऑफ यू डू यू प्लान टू कंटिन्यू द नवकेतन दिस थिंग ब्रांड बैनर ही इज हिमालय फिल्म्स आई एम नवकेतन आई नो दैट आई एम केतन बट वी आर टुगेदर द आनंद नवकेतन वाज स्टार्टेड इन 1949 यस दैट्स वाज नेम्ड आफ्टर मी यस so i take it upon myself as being the oldest and responsible but <laughs> navketan international belongs to mr Devanan. sunil anand and navketan enterprise enterprises is vibhav anand we are himalaya film starting yes. from hakikat but we are one family we've always been one family although there was a 10 year gap between the three brothers and they went their separate ways they all three became famous but they were like this yes. all through their lives they yeah. never backed down from each other तो ये एकता जो उनमें थी दैट्स व्हाई आई एम आस्किंग दिस दैट्स व्हाई वी आर हियर टुगेदर एंड ऑल द होल फैमिली इज नाउ गॉट टुगेदर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ अ वेब सीरीज ऑन मिस्टर देवानंद 100th बर्थडे एनिवर्सरी दैट इज ऑन नाउ ग्रेट 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 थैंक यू थैंक यू आजकल कोई भी फिल्म में एक दो फिल्म करते हैं और समझते हैं वो फिल्म इंडस्ट्री के है आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो द बेजिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन कमिंग फ्रॉम द ट्रेडिशन ऑफ फिल्म द एंड टूडेज इट इज नॉट दैट वी आर सींग एनी थिंग बैड और वी आर क्रिटिसाइजिंग टूडेज जनरेशन बट डज इट डू यू फाइंड दैट डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू जनरेशन टू टू गैप ऑफ द सेम स्पेशली टू मिस्टर वैभव I'm so I have not understood the question. The... Uh, you are coming from film uh, uh-huh. tradition. Correct. So in all sense, name wise, restoring things wise, or knowing about the film industry, is that, and you and the other people <coughs> from your generation. No, there is no difference. Achha. I mean, the, you know, anybody wants to become a doctor today. There is a facility available. So okay. if you want to be a cinema. filmmaker or a creative person there's so many fields you can go and study yeah you can study on youtube mm-hmm. so i think uh, it is depends on your hard work mm-hmm. it depends on how passionate you are about whatever work you want to do you can come from a film family and flop Achha. if you take it for granted ab bistar se uth ke agar aap set pe chale jaoge actor nahi banoge okay correct kaam karna padta hai seekhna padta hai ki bhaiya main aage kaise jaau shukar hai mere pita ji ne mujhe sab sikhaya lekin the others who just pick up a camera mm. and they start picking up by improvising and i think the the barriers of the walls of bollywood have been broken which is a good thing unfortunately due to corona because there was a shift mm. and suddenly the industry or the fans or the people started seeing movies they had never seen before because of online platform and you suddenly realize i can make a movie mm-hmm. i don't have to wait for a distributor i don't have to wait for the middleman <coughs> mandi i don't need them there is a mandi but i don't need the middleman anymore i can go and sell my product mm-hmm. and here this festival is one of the examples of that initiative yeah, but, but i just I hope that more festivals come up where you don't even need the middle link to release a film because yeah, the desire that. of any filmmaker today actor right i mean so many people who are struggling and they are unable to get in with the amount of talent that they have and they have nurtured the talent by learning and seeing the movies on their own because some of them come from villages they don't know what uh, institutions are mm-hmm. they hardly know the language i used to know this guy who used to work at starbucks his name is raj i don't know where he is but he came 3 4 years ago from somewhere in patna with a desire to be an actor 
and he would only see movies online by saving money from that wifi that he had so he could become an actor i don't know where he is but uh, that is how passionate people are mm. so you don't have to rely on i hope you don't have to rely on one industry today you can yeah. just rely on the cinemas spread it spread so we need to have it. the link between newcomers and cinema very good that is unfortunately still controlled yeah so you remember any govan uh, people in film industry uh, in music side they have i came here to so go much. Yeah. And I shot a film called Aaja Meri Jaan. I was here for forty whole days, so I'm very close to Goa. I've also lived here for some time. So, and this is an incredible place, Goa. It's a state, but uh, contribution Goa, to the film industry by the Goan musicians. No, there, there were a lot of Goan musicians are there all over. There be there are Goan uh, uh, dance directors, there are Goan uh, cinematographers. They're all over the place. so uh, and now goa has got ifi so besides being a location for films it's got this huge platform and i have also been a i'm also a life member of the international center here in goa and it is my request also to the government here to keep doing cultural shows through them also why only have one uh, festival in a year keep doing little little little, little things have retrospects of older films newer films bring new talent in spread it you know india is a huge country it must every state must have its own industry yeah. and go global i mean don't think local think global today everything is global that's the only way mankind will come closer also you know my father was the chief of censor okay. long yeah. back yeah. under mrs shushma swaraj and he got a chance to visit every center censor office all over india He even went to places where it was not possible. They had to take the army. I think it was northeast at the time, and he showed me some pictures. I mean, it was the state, the the situation. Nobody had visited for for forty, fifty years. So I'm glad now that the government is taking this initiative, because there is such a vastness in our culture, in our tradition. He met people in Sikkim who wanted to be actors, but they didn't know how to come to Bombay or Mumbai. it's just by road or by car but come and do what exactly so hopefully even through these platforms and awareness you can have people coming and showcasing their work which i am seeing that's happening that's the best thing you can do create platforms so people from all over india not only world from all over india who want to just make a movie can come and show what they've done even with 5 minutes 10 minutes whatever so you can see the talent that is sort of bursting in this country Yes. Mr. Vaibhav, what you need. Do you plan to direct a film in future? No, for now it's just as an actor writer. Writer. Yeah. Uh, can you yeah. elaborate on the web series you just announced on uh, Devanand? It's a celebration. Because as I put it, enough has been said about the man. I look for the dev in the man, not the man in the dev. So I'm not going to talk about his trivialities. He was born, he lived he loved he got married he had children he had a brilliant career and he went on but he's left behind an aura a vibration a legend because i feel legends don't die i'm talking about that legend called dev devanand so i say look for the dev in the man and i celebrate 60 or 70 years of his career i'm going to invite everybody that has got anything to do with him work wise or who have been influenced by him i'll have conversations with them get their stories I'll get the newer generation to give me new songs about him, new lyrics about him, and I will bring it all together and say, "Let us celebrate because it's about time we started talking about love and not hate anymore. Let's talk about romance, not even love. Romance is something they have lived for." He said, "What is romance?" He says, "You can romance with a novel, or you can romance with a tree or the plants and the trees. You don't only have to romance with each other." So to me, romance means flirting with the whole of existence. This was Mr. Devanand. Prem Pujari. <laughs> Coming to the restored project, I just wanted uh, to know, like here in Ifi, we have a special section of the restored classics that is being shown, and it is quite popular also. So, how do you take it forward? Like, how to make the general public? You have any suggestions to, like, how to take it forward amongst the masses? The restored classics. The restored classics. Suggestion. I don't know. <clears throat> You'll have to have a. Uh, uh, a policy to follow because there are 
you've got the OTT platforms now and you can push anything anywhere. So the government must work out, uh, um, make friends with the uh, people of the trade, you know, not be aloof. Come together because this is, you see, cinema is the language of the planet today, you know. You don't look at culture anymore in terms of languages, you know, the age of just language is over. Come to a universal language, now you're going digitized. It's all going to be ones and zeros and whatever else AI discovers for you. So come to a universal language where it will bring human beings together. You have to think from university to universe now. You can't think in straight lines. There are no straight lines in nature. There are only curves, you know. So bring human beings together on a single platform. Then you can think about going to Mars and everywhere you want. Get it together here first. <laughs> so you need a language and cinema is the language. NFDC is very capable of it. It's a very strong body. Yeah, it's a very strong body. Of course they can do it. They can get their own theatres or they can release it in theatres. They can release it on platforms. They can create their own web, web platform. What is stopping them? They've got Doordarshan. They can develop a whole web. No, they should have a web platform also where they can bring in all these things. Yeah, I know that has been tied up for 100 years of Deva Devanan. They are tied up with PVR, we are tied up with the Inox. 55 cinemas or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, of course, but you have to have those slots. You arrange. Uh, and it also the thing is you have to create an awareness of the classics. Because um, unfortunately, the time has changed and not every classic is appealing to everyone. Yeah. That's the yeah. So yeah. cinema does it's not universal. It's subjective, you know. So uh, certain people who've left their mark will be timeless. So accordingly, how you release because ultimately it's also a commercial business for other people. So who will release it will say, "Hamara paisa to barbad na ho, sir." Hamko malum hai aap achhe ho ghar pe baitho. Lekin hamara paisa barbad na ho. So you have to have it collective. Yeah. Hi, sir. Uh, we are speaking about uh, restoration of uh, Indian classics. So my question is, before we had these black and white movies which were existing. So according to you, uh, showing that to the current generation is obviously good. But what about recreating that back in this generation and putting in place? Would recreating that what? Recreating the black, black and white uh, culture or the black and white movies or cinemas which we, which were done before there's no reason for that it's already done i mean every generation if you're telling somebody look i'm giving you a camera on your mobile phone he can't create black and white so he's going to do what he feels best he or she and then if you want to convert to black and white uh, it's possible you know, so it's just the appeal of the cinema uh, yeah, uh, director. Spielberg has done that. Too. Yeah, Schindler's List. Yeah, but you Schindler's don't, you don't have to, don't have to go back in the past, admire the past, and learn from it, bus. Okay. Yeah. So the question was, uh, I was waiting for a quite a while. Uh, right at, yeah. very good day to one and all. <clears throat> one of the question which I had in mind, right from the first of the premiere as uh, the opening uh, footage was shown at the time of inauguration. Uh, that was, how did you, I mean, I would want you to emphasize upon the huge financial risk and the, uh, the uh, timeless effort which you had taken up to complete one project at a time. Because as you said correctly, this was a process and this was a difficult process people did not attempt before. No, no, the thing is, uh, privately, a lot of people have already uh, digitalized and um, uh, restored their movies. And I was in talks with uh, somebody else before I met NFDC. So it is a painstaking process. It is a monetary process. And um, only people who preserve it because of passion, you know, who it is part of their property, is part of their heritage. So they will go for this because it's a painstaking process. And when I saw NFDC and what work they're doing, I mean, all the technology that we used to use privately already exists with them. You know, I think the German technology and the technicians are well versed and they've tied up with private uh, labs as well. 
so to answer your question it is um, it is only the people who have who are in the business will go ahead with this initiative the advantage with today generation is you don't need to restore because you're not using print so you can save it on your computer for life long so it's number one it's cost effective number two it's time effective so in one sense the technology of today is what they are doing 4k so we are able to just see this film ya go aage hotel mein theater ya film dekh li lekin kya pata 6 mahine lage banane mein ha yeah no that's I'll, the emphasis I'll, can be given but i think yeah. that will you restoring the good thing the heritage and it's good to restore and preserve it for our learning but since the formats have changed the change is for good hmm. if if you shoot on a reel today as i think uh, openheimer was shot Uh, because i had gone and seen it in london met some people there um, it is very difficult to shoot like that a very 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 uh, expensive yeah, in yeah. today's world and it's the effect is the same the 4k effect is the same because ultimately you have to convert it for the screen the technology has changed the projectors are no longer there mm. so the people who are preserving the heritage which should be seen by the next generation that is very important and for that reason the government of india and nfdc are doing a fantastic job mm. so even the films that will be made from today they can be preserved easily on a computer so that's the best advantage you have today yeah yeah i'd like to add he's absolutely right on that you have to accept that this is a part of our history now You know, archives it is archival and that is why they're doing it because it is important to have archives because you need a background it's like you still talk of sapta rishis today why because that's archival stuff in our genetic coding right so in the same way there is a history in cinema today indian cinema is over 100 years old and it will go older and older so they must preserve because then the children who are going to come and go to the schools and go to the colleges and all and you have channels like history channel and stuff like that create those kind of channels Koi and have them and channel, but i think the good uh, thing is uh, show them to the kids or have them as part of the courses and things but it's part of history now don't treat it as a commercial thing that's going to work. also to uh, answer pragya ji's question on how to promote you know i think even if the government uh, coordinates with i think there are a lot of channels like z z classics and yeah. doordarshan if, if they are also if they yeah if they coordinate with them for a special uh, you know slots where the youngsters actually glue instead of netflix ott they will be an idea that look see this also mm. you know promote you have to trust it through a pr which is i think very good with this government you have to trust it with the pr so people will want, want to watch because i saw so many people when i went for guide and jewel thief in uh, uh, pvr juhu where we saw it everybody was applauding and they were shocked to see those movies mm. and there were so many people who said i brought my daughter i brought my son i brought my grandson and they were enjoying the movie they had no idea ashok kumar was the was the thief <laughs> so till the end i was you know engaging with them and they wanted to see it again but this is not available i said it will be available but so you realize if the movie is good creatively made there is an audience for it but it has to be publicized promoted in the right way and i i think the government is on the right footing is just some way if they get few more collaborators few more platforms then yes audience will be there for these movies yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so thank you all thank, thank you very you much it's fun being here yeah. pleasure to uh, meet you all we conclude this session thank you thank you thank you, thank you.